Hey everybody, uh, SF Logic Ninja here, back at you uh, with a tutorial video. Imagine that. Found out a cool trick. I got a question from one guy about Ultra Beat, and I got another question from a guy who wanted to be able to have um, kind of repeating patterns um, happen when he when he holds a synth pad down. He actually made a video for me. And I have to find it again. Uh, if you are the person who made the video, please send me a message and let me know where that video is at because I want to be sure that I've, you know, come up with a solution, if not the solution. What I'm going to show you today is kind of a combination of a Ultra Beat video and a side chaining video. Ultra Beat has the ability to side chain. Now we talked about vocoding where we used our voice and a uh, MIDI input to do vocoding, but this time what I want to do is use Ultra Beat um, to process a signal that comes in by a side chain. So check it out. The way we're going to do it is we're going to go down here to an instrument track and we're going to make an ESE synth and we're going to take its attack down. So it's going to give us a very basic kind of sound. Then what we're going to do is make another track, an instrument track, and we're going to put an ultra beat there. And now's where we got to do all of our prep work. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go to the ESE and down where it says output 1 and 2, we're going to change it from output 1 and 2 to bus 1. So now the synth isn't going out to the speakers, it's going to go to bus 1. And bus 1 uh, automatically pops open auxiliary 1 and we're going to mute that aux because the only place we want this ESE to go is to the side chain in Ultra Beat. So here's Ultra Beat and it's got a little side chain area up here and we're gonna say listen to bus 1. Now what we need to do is find a pattern that's not being used in Ultra Beat. I'm just gonna use the default Ultra Beat um, setup here and I'm gonna come down to where it says pattern and everywhere it says SQ means that there is a sequence so I'm gonna go to 10 because there's no sequence there yet. Alright, now uh, down here it says kick one. I'm gonna rename that. I'm gonna call it SA. And Ultra Beat, like I said before, has oscillator one, oscillator two, and a noise oscillator, right? Well, oscillator one, it can be either a phase oscillator, FM, or sidechain. So we're gonna use sidechain. So I have the ESE, I'm gonna hold a chord down. That chord goes to bus one. Bus 1 goes into Ultra Beat. And then Ultra Beat, down at the bottom, the pattern sequencer, anywhere I select here, it's going to play a note when it cycles around. So what this means, it's going to let, it's going to let the synth through in bursts. So to hear what this sounds like, I've got to turn the power on, on Ultra Beat, and I have to put it in play. So essentially what this is doing is it's creating a rhythmic gate that's going to happen when I hold down the ESE. And that's not all. Um, so when I record, you know, I would just record on the ESE track up here. So I'm going to go ahead and record some stuff and then I'm going to show you a couple additional things that you can do in Ultra Beat. Um, to really make some interesting rhythmic things happen. So I'm going to go into record. All right, and because my timing wasn't absolutely impeccable. I'm going to quantize that region. And now it'll repeat over again. Okay, so the side chain, I hope I have enough time to do this because this is cool. The side chain is feeding into the filter or I'm going to make it feed into the filter. So the side chain input comes here and it goes in through this stuff, which I'll have to talk about later. And then if I press this button, it feeds into the filter, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the filter 
um, the cutoff of the filter is going to be sensitive to velocity. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to say uh, velocity is going to affect max. There we go. So what's going to happen is the velocities are how tall these blue strips are, these areas here. So like at the end, I'm going to have the gate open up velocity towards the end, and theoretically that should open the filter. So I'll pull the filter up a bit. Okay, you hear how it opened up at the end? Now, it's a little tricky in Ultrabeat how they have all this stuff set up. Ultrabeat's one of those plugins where, like, I'm happy that Apple didn't dumb it down, but at the same time, it's a very complex plugin. And it's all color coded. Anything green means it's going to be controlled via velocity. Anything blue is going to be controlled via modulators, which I know um, <laughs> one of you is asking me about modulators. I'm going to do a whole video on that. Uh, modulators are envelopes and LFOs primarily. Um, but essentially down here in this area, anything that's green is showing me where the velocity is going to affect the cutoff opening. Okay, so if I turn this little green area down, it means the, velo the velocity is going to have less effect over cutoff. If I turn it all the way up, that means it's going to affect it quite a bit. So if I play it back, and what's even cooler is you could create multiple patterns and then you can actually um, change, change those patterns up midstream. So this is one pattern. If I go down to A sharp negative one, and I'll change the pattern up. I'll still do the same velocity stuff, but I might actually adjust my velocities here as well. When I go to the right, that's gate. I'll have to talk about that later. Okay, so here's a different pattern. And then switch back to the first pattern. They're actually a little too similar. I'm going to have to uh, do a little adjusting so that we hear a big difference between the two. Now if I turn pattern mode on, then what I can do is I actually hit the keys that correspond to the correct pattern. Um, hopefully there's a sharp negative one, there's a one. Now the trick is I have to go down to the ultra beat track to do this. So now when I hit playback, I can actually switch them in real time. Okay, so that was using my uh, keyboard controller, my MIDI controller, to play A and A sharp, ne A negative one and A sharp negative one, which were assigned to those patterns. Then once I'm done, um, I can go, oh, take this pattern, grab here, drag it up onto the track, and then go to a sharp negative one, drag that pattern up to the track, and maybe I'll repeat them. And that's my air conditioner. So it's time to go, because I don't want to fight that. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, check out moldover.com, M-O-L-D-O-V-E-R.com. He just moved to the Bay Area. This guy's amazing. Um, check out his stuff. Uh, and there's my little plug for the week. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. I'll see if I can't crank another one out. This one went pretty smoothly, so and I'm excited about getting back into it again. Um, yeah, and there's other news and stuff like that, but I won't bore you with it. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.